Howdy brothers and sisters out there in YouTube land. This here is Grateful Panic and uh, I've got another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Great Eastern Cutlery number 99 Wall Street and American Chestnut uh, cover material. And before we do that, let's go ahead and get this panic dump out of the way and let you guys take a look at what I was carrying today. And today my modern folder carry was the Bird Raven 2 and CTS BD1 and this is probably one of my very favorite uh, budget carries right here. This is a great knife. Uh, my traditional slip joint carry was the Great Eastern Cutlery number 78 American Jack and smooth white bone and my fixed blade carry was something that I don't carry very often but today I was just feeling it uh, so I strapped it on my hip and and just went on about my day I mean it's a great knife don't get me wrong but it's just something I I kind of baby a little bit <clears throat> so you know I don't carry it on a daily basis and especially not to work and not so much for fear of messing the knife up but for me fear of messing the sheath up because with all the buffer dust and, and metal shavings floating through the air I tend to get pretty dirty but it was this is the uh, uh, Reaper Customs from Mr. Shane, H Shane Huntley over at Reaper Knives and this is an 80 CRV2 blade steel and a hybrid uh, blue resin and Amboina Burl uh, handle scales and the sheath is a custom sheath from Uncle C Leather which is my good friend Salvador Sanchez and I will uh, drop a link to his Instagram in the description so you guys can go check him out because he does some amazing work um, yeah this is just a very very high quality sheath and his prices are, are pretty daggone reasonable if you ask me so you guys definitely check Salvador out uh, he's a really good guy and he does really great work <clears throat> and that leads us into the what am I drinking segment of this video and today I'm drinking on a little bit of Hoptical Illusion from Blue Point Brewing Company and that's some really tasty stuff guys and with that being said it is time to get down to the nitty-gritty and check out this review knife and like I said we are taking a look at the Great Eastern Cutlery number 99 Wall Street and before we get to the meat and taters of this guy let's go ahead and get the boring stuff out of the way and get you guys some measurements materials and a weight and we're gonna have to take it back to the old school today and break out the trusty tape measure because there's not a lot of information on this guy uh, measurement wise on the internet but we're looking at a closed length of three and three quarters inches we have a fully open length of six and three quarters inches we have a blade length of three and one eighth inch and we've got a cutting edge if I could there we go of two and three quarters inches and let's go ahead and get you guys awake before I forget it this time and we are looking at 2.4 ounces so super super light and that converts to 67 grams 68 grams for our good friends across the pond so yeah super super duper light carry um, which I mean it's a slip joint so you expect it to be uh, fairly light because I mean it's not a huge knife um, material wise we have uh, cover materials in American chestnut wood and this stuff is absolutely gorgeous and I'm gonna tell you 
go ahead and tell you guys up front that the camera, especially this camera, does not do this material justice because uh, in real life it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and we have <clears throat> stainless steel lined bolsters. We've got stainless steel end caps, or the, the one end cap. Um, we've got brass pins. We've got, and you know what? Let me go back. Nickel silver on the uh, bolster and end cap. Uh, nickel silver on the inlay. And this is the acorn shield. We've got brass liners. And this is a lockback. And we have... And you know, I don't really know, and I need to bone up on this, but I'm pretty sure the back springs are also in 1095 carbon steel, which the uh, this nice Warncliffe blade is in 1095 uh, carbon steel. And this blade, it has a really unique hand-drawn swedge. I mean, it's almost imperceptible, but you know, if you really look, you've got this nice rounded hand-drawn swedge from about here to here and I think that's a really really good look for this this blade shape uh, this is a satin finish um, and this is something else I need to look up because I this is the first time I've uh, experienced a uh, number 99 Wall Street but the tang stamp uh, the normal tang stamp um, here this year, and I think like the last part of last year, says uh, GEC, uh, TI, uh, GECCAR for Great Eastern Cutlery Carbon. But this one says Cyclops Steelworks, and I don't know, and, and you know what? I totally dropped the ball because this is not 1095 carbon steel. This is uh, 440C stainless. So I would guess that the block bar slash backspring is also 440C and that would probably explain why this says Cyclops Steelworks because it is not carbon steel so uh, yeah that makes sense I figured that out all by myself because I'm not half as dumb as I look or don't look half as dumb as I am I don't know one of those two anyway um, and on this side we've got of course Great Eastern Cutlery Titusville Pennsylvania um, and this this guy uh, does the pull is a nail nick, and <clears throat> I'm gonna say the walk and talk on this guy is pretty stinking fabulous. Uh, the pull is a little bit lighter than what you're going to experience on uh, your average Great Eastern Cutlery slip joint, and of course this is not a slip joint; it's a lockback. But um, I would give this pull probably a two or a three it's a very very light pool um, it does not have a half stop but I don't know with this this knife it, it just doesn't need it it's I think a half stop would kind of take away from uh, this this knife's kind of sleek and elegant and while I am a huge fan I mean a huge fan like half stops have pretty much ruined slip joints for me because you know what I typically would have liked back in the day I I like it but I just I don't want it because it doesn't have a half stop but with this guy it's you know half stops to me they're kinda of rugged it's kinda of, you know a rugged working man's knife uh, even if it's on a you know a, a flashier looking knife but this knife here it's it's so sleek and and elegant that I think a half stop would take away from it and um, a friend of mine at work uh, actually if if you guys uh, have, you know, seen his comments, he's a Grateful Panic family member, and his YouTube name is Seven Pines Knives. But <clears throat> he's a close personal friend of mine at work, and he's a really big knife guy. And when I showed him this knife, he said that the uh, the name Wall Street was a very appropriate name because it looked like something, you know, a higher class, you know kind of refined, uh, more well-to-do, affluent person would carry, you know, a, a stockbroker on, on Wall Street or something, you know, just it, it the Wall, you know, that Wall Street name kind of lended to 
the elegance of this knife and it, it it's cool because you know it's got <laughs> chestnut wood cover material which is kind of rustic but even with rustic cover materials this is a very elegant knife um, and I think they really knocked it out of the park on this guy um, and I, I'm bummed and it's a funny story I was in the shower and I heard my phone go off and you know saying I had a text message didn't think anything of it I said you know well I'll check it when I get out couldn't have been more than maybe four or five minutes after I heard the notification I got out checked my phone and it was a notification from collector knives saying that there was an early reserve on the on the Wall Street so I immediately went to the website and the reservation was closed because they were the all the all the reservations were taken and they were gone like literally gone so I'm really bummed that I didn't uh, pick one of these up because it's it's an awesome knife like it's a really great knife but I'm sure that uh, if I keep my eyes open I will hopefully be able to pick one of these up on the secondary market and uh, so my opinion on this knife guys is if you couldn't tell it, this is a really really awesome and to me this is um, you know this is a Sunday go to meet and carry this is I mean you can carry it anytime but to me it's just it's a really classy knife it's uh it's something you know I want to carry out you know on a date with the wife or you know a special um, evening at church or you know to me this is a even though it's got a rustic look with the cover materials to me this is a nice evening knife uh, uh, you know an evening carry if you will <clears throat> and I really really enjoyed uh, get to experience this knife and this is another one that is courtesy of our Grateful Panic family member brother David and uh, so I thank you very very much for for the loan of this knife uh, brother David it's been an absolute joy and like I said you know I was bummed that I wasn't able to pick one up so it was really really cool to uh, be able to experience this knife uh, firsthand and I really really appreciate that so um, I think it's pretty pretty obvious that this knife right here gets the Grateful Panic seal of approval which is as we all know one and three quarters thumbs up so uh, thank you David for loaning me this knife uh, thank you family members brothers and sisters for watching the video I appreciate all your likes and comments if you're new to the channel just checking the video up or out make sure you uh, like comment subscribe let us know you're here let us welcome you to the family and uh, with that being said guys this is Grateful Panic signing out and remember guys stay alert stay alive and hey how about do something nice for somebody today thanks guys bye bye